So it's it's very complicated, but it's nice to live in this chaos and to try to find your way in this chaos. Yeah, and I, and I don't want to think about it. I know you will have people analyzing it to death. I don't want to analyze it. We, as people, are literally in the epicenter of a constant chaos, of a constant, of, a, of an internal breaking, right? And, 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 this, and this sits with all of us, you know? It's a, it's a sort of epilogue to a huge, to a huge story, to a huge continuum of hate, of greed, of murder, of sloth. And, it, and it's a disgusting thing, but Oh, you make a mess of an art piece and you put it on the wall and you have people, hmm, you know, this is this and this is that. And you, you can sort of see the, uh, the blemishes within that piece, but you, but you call it beautiful anyway, right? And you, when you're making that piece, you don't know if it's going to be beautiful or not. You're just painting. Splashes of passion and color on them. They sort of mesh into one thing when you come and sort of see those things. You don't see the whole spiel of what's happening, but at the end of the day, you and him and him and her and and the guy around the block and the guy at the store and the guy on the bus and the guy on the train. All of you are somehow in this large composition. They're thinking about fame. They're thinking about immigration. They're not thinking about people, you see. Like other musicians do concerning their people. You have to pay for your people, you see. You have to uh, develop your ethnic structures. And it's... Just tell me what you're doing. Movement is the thing that uh, sets you free. It sets you free of boundaries and boxes. It sets you free because you know, you can move and feel the music and have a, you know what I mean? Just be free. It's nothing about anything except the moment and existing. And this is very important uh, for, uh, you know, the artist. Race can be a box in certain conversations. Not that it's not important that you appreciate, you know, your race or wherever you're from, but I think it's more so about culture and truth and what you present to the audience or whoever is listening. Because I believe a lot of people evolve in different times. Some people are still stuck on race in a certain sense where it can be crippling to a mentality. But not that you can't have truth or pride in race or whatever, but it's when, when it comes to art, it's more of an open, a free for all world. And we kind of break those boundaries and kind of see past that. In what way? Meaning, like, there's nothing wrong with being powerful about your race or this or that. But in the artistic expression, we kind of, it's not so much about that in a sense. It's more of a, a free, every, bringing everyone together, whatever race or whatever culture you are. So I think, like, politics is very deep into sort of, like, the race thing and black, white, yellow, brown, whatever, whatever, this and that. But I think art is more of an open expression. And uh, it, it, it should be a little more open-minded in the way we approach uh, the concept of artistic expressions. If 10 people look at a, a picture of painting, they can perceive it in a thousand different ways. It just depends on the the eye of the beholder, what they see, what, what you see in it. You know what I mean? So therefore, this sort of breaking free of boundaries. I think race is sort of a boundary, not culture, but the idea of race is a boundary. And art frees that because we're not forcing any way upon the listener or the observer. It's just more about what did you see in it? 
What do you enjoy about it? How does it move you?